And what I like to do is start on the one. And basically what this exercise does is it will get you to the level of familiarity uh, in any key that you want to become familiar in. Okay, so for example, in the key of C, here is one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the diatonic scale is basically seven notes, but um, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna go all the way down, all right? So, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so there we go. We're gonna go all the way down, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a few things. And this is really the, I don't wanna say it's the barometer um, or the test that will tell you if you're familiar in every key, but this is definitely something that I like to use to gauge my students to see how familiar they are in the keys that they're playing in. So, so let's start here. What we're gonna do is I'll match them up, and this is, again, an exercise that I taught, but I didn't really teach it the way you could really use it to apply in songs that you're playing. All right, so here we go. And I'll break this down. Notice the melody line is at the top. All right. So what I did was I'll just kind of break this down right hand and left hand, and I'll show you what's so amazing about this. Now, you, some of you have who have already purchased some of the series that I have, you you kind of familiar with this, but you don't know how powerful this um, exercise really is. All right. So here we go. Let's start with the top. I'm going to do a fifth scale degree, and then the uh, the root, and I'll put it here. So I'll go a five to the four. And then move this down here, and then move this one here, then move this one here, then move this one here. As you can see, I'm moving down. And just keeps going down. Now, a lot of you are saying, oh, man, that's simple. That's simple. Man, when can I get that rolling P330 from you? <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how you can get it because, I mean, as simple as this is, whoever the first person that can send me a video, video of them playing this diatonic scale, um, you know, going all the way down to this very bottom octave here or this octave or this one here, I'm going to send this to you, okay? But let me show you what I need from you first, all right? So you understand this really quick. So you start with the one because the melody, I like to keep the melody at the top. Um, and this piano sound that you hear right now is not the Roland P330. You can check out the, uh, I think it's a pretty 330 video that I have on um, YouTube. This piano that you hear, um, that you're listening to now is actually the Ravenscroft 275. We're going to be giving this away also. Um, I'll, I'll give you more details on that. All right. So now that you understand this, keep the melody at the top. What we want to do now is we want to uh, add like an accompaniment. So we start on the sixth scale degree. So that's a six to the two. So left hand by itself two five one four seven three six two five one four seven three six two five one four seven and then stop on the six because that's going to harmonize with our melody line all right, so let's put them together and I'm going to show you what I need from you guys um, and um, what I need from you in your video demonstration to send to me. All right, it goes like this. Together. Next one. So you're putting them together. So you start on the one and the five and then you start with the six scale degree in the left hand. Now, the, what's the cool thing about this? It's all numbers. So we're going to move this to different keys. All right, here we go. So start with the one. And I'll kind of go fast just to kind of move forward and show you what I mean by that. All right, so there we go. Now, what's the cool thing about this exercise? There's a really, really cool song. It's called I Surrender All. It's a hymn. Um, and that hymn I Surrender All is actually played through this exercise. So watch this. I, I surrender all. Do you hear it? 
Keep the melody at the top. I surrender all. Watch this. I surrender all. And you don't have to go that far down. You can stop here. All right. So this is as far down as I'd like you to go. Just go down two octaves. Here's the first octave, second octave, and stop here. All right. Let's do that one more time. I surrender all. I surrender all. All right. Let's go to another key here. Let's go to the next key up, which is C sharp. All right. I all right, so I surrender all. I surrender all. All right, and again, we're going to stop on the, you can stop here on the one with the sixth scale degree. So basically what I did here was I'm in the D flat or C sharp major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Five in the one, six in the left hand. So... So what I'm doing, I'm moving in the diatonic scale here. All right, and you combine the left hand. Four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, seven, three, six, uh, three, six, two, five, one. All right, so let's put them together. And I like to do them in second count. So it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm on the four, three. Two to the one. And that's all you have to do. Just go to the one. Now I know what you're thinking. KC man, I'm gonna send that video right now, player. I'm I hey I'm I want that rolling P330 module. Okay, now here's the catch. I need you to do it in every key. Alright, so that includes like keys like D. Alright. So um so for example in the key of D, what we want to do is we want to go to the five and then the six. So the five and the one, keep the melody at the top. So it's like I Surrender all. Kind of see where I'm going with this? I surrender all. And you can kind of keep moving it down. I like to, I like to move down to the one. So in here. All right. So we went down two octaves. So again. This is really a good test to see how familiar you are in every key. All right. So what I want you to do is just, you know, go through every key. Just one second. Do them in, you know, um, in one second increments. Send me the video. I'm sending you that Roland Pre-330 module. OK, so go through. Start with C. Go to D, uh, D flat or C sharp. D. Just go up chromatically in the different keys. Um, and you can send it to the website, go to uh, prettysimplemusic.com and you'll be able to go to the, uh, I think it's the support page and on the contact information, what you can do is just go down to the bottom and just uh, send me the link. You can upload it to wherever you want to upload it, uh, whatever social media outlet you like to upload it to. Um, just um, send me that link and I'll check it out. If everything proves itself, <laughs> um, I'm sending that module ASAP. All right, I'm ready to get rid of it. And um, I'm excited to get rid of it. Again, just send right. me a video. It doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. Just a camera, you know, angled at yourself. You know, someone can hold it. And you just kind of go through um, the different keys. Start here. And if you don't have an 88 note keyboard, it's going to be a challenge. Okay. So you may have to get to a piano because you'll need at least this, you know, this space. All right. I, I think that's maybe 76, but I'm not 100% sure how that'll work. But um, anyway. Um, just somebody holding a camera and that way I can see you, you know, playing and see your hands playing the exercises and just go through each key. Again, I like to kind of keep it at a second pace. So that's one, two, 
three, four. Um, and I tell you what, I, I may upload a metronome or something. That way you can have something to practice with. Um, 60 seconds. I'll just call it diatonic metronome. <laughs> um, and you can get that on the website and just download it. And that'll give you something to practice with. All right. And um, that's basically it. I'm not going to hold your time. You know, ultimately, uh, my goal is uh, to help you be a better you. So my slogan is today is a new day, a new life and a new opportunity to become a better you. I love you guys so much. Um, and I will see you in the next couple of weeks uh, to give you a breakdown of how to record MIDI uh, and so that you can get that Ravenscroft 275 piano. See you guys then.